we need to find the IUPAC name of this molecule. So we need to expand everything first. So don't worry about all of this. Just scratch that out. So that's going to be CH3. So you just say CH3 like that. Then the next part is a C. Okay, now there's a CH3 in brackets. Now some learners, they're gonna be like, okay, does that mean we just carry on with the main chain? Let's say that our main chain is gonna go in this, we're gonna just keep going in this direction, okay? So it's not part of the main chain because if you had to add a CH3 like this, then you have a little bit of a problem because this carbon would be empty and you wouldn't be able to add anything onto your, um, you wouldn't be able to add any of this onto your to continue because this H would be uh, blocking the way. So what we'd rather do is consider this CH3 as a branch. So you could go this way. You could have gone up as well. Okay, so we've done that. We've done that. Then there's a CH. Okay, so CH. And then there is another C. Okay. And then there's a CH2, CH3. Now, once again, that is going to be a branch because if you had to try add a CH2, CH3, then you've just blocked the end of your chain. So you wouldn't be able to add any of this on. So instead, let's rewind that and add it down here. And you could have gone upwards as well. Okay, and then there's an H, so we can just add that up there. Then there's a CH2, that's an easy one. CH2, that's always gonna just be part of your main chain. Then there's a CH, okay, and then a CH2. C H2. Okay, now, if you look over here, this carbon and this carbon only have uh, three bonds surrounding, so we're gonna put a double bond there to fix that up. Then if you look over here, we have the same problem happening where you've only got um, three things, so you just put a double bond over there. And so now we need to come up with the name of this. So we know that this is an alkene. So if we're to label it from the left, this would be carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so your double bond would be on carbon two and carbon six. However, if we rather, so just remember two and six, if we rather label it from the right hand side, then your double bonds would be on carbon number one and carbon number five. We would rather choose that because we want the lowest numbers possible. That's the IUPAC rule, right? So we're gonna label from the right-hand side. Oh, I don't know why I'm scratching those numbers off. So that's carbon number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So the longest carbon chain is seven, so that's hept. Then the branches would be this one over here. So that's a two carbon branch, so that's called an ethyl branch. Then this is a one carbon branch, so that's a methyl. Now you have to use the alphabet. So E is before M, E is before M. So we could say um, on carbon number four, there is an ethyl. On carbon number six, there is a methyl. And then, now this is gonna be a diene because there's two enes. So what's weird about that is that you have to add an A first. You don't just say hept, you have to say hepta. And then on carbon number one, as well as on carbon number five, there is a double bond. So there's an en, but because there's two of them, we say diene. And that's pretty much what I'm doing right now, sitting in this bungalow in Thailand. It's so hot and I'm sweating like crazy. So it feels like I'm diene. <laughs> that was a good one.